chestnut roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering a simple phrase. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. How are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. My name is Kathy. This is my puppy Coco and it's a channel where we do a lot of great projects on a budget. And in today's video, I'm so excited to show you how I decorate our coffee bar. Actually, Coco bar. I'm sorry. <laughs> or both. <laughs> and we're going to build an awning out of Dollar Tree items and it's just going to be an amazing piece of decoration for just a couple bucks. And I also found this adorable sign from the Dollar General. How cute is this sign? Don't worry if you cannot find one. We can make one on a budget like that too. It's going to be so adorable. Stick around and let's see what we can come up with. And if you like it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for many great DIY projects on a budget. Okay, let's get started. So for today's project, we're going to need a large piece of cardboard. And I didn't have one at home, so I bought this large display board. It's like a trifold. You can get it at a Dollar Tree. Kids use it for their school projects. In addition, I got two large foam boards. And here's that adorable sign that I showed you. This is my inspiration for the whole thing here. <laughs> they also had this adorable bakery sticker. And um, maybe if you cannot find a sign, you can use one of the Dollar Tree signs, paint it in the back and put the sticker on it. If you cannot find the sticker, perhaps you could just spell out bakery with the Dollar Tree poster stickers. You know, you can paint them beforehand any color that you like. To paint our cardboard, we're going to need some paint. I picked red. You can get it at Walmart for only 50 cents a bottle. Masking tape, and I got it at a Dollar Tree. Some nice thick skewers or dowels. Wire and color coordinating twine. And I recommend using Gorilla Glue Sticks for this project. So first you're going to pick a spot and set up a small table uh, for your hot cocoa coffee station. And as you can see, I'm gonna do it right here in front of the staircase. We're still missing a railing, we're renovating, but uh, this is the only place where I could do it. It's not ideal because this wall is slanted, but we're gonna make it work. Let me show you what I'm thinking. We're gonna set up a wall here, something like this out of the two foam boards. And then we're gonna take that trifold and do a little awning. And this is not wide enough. So we're gonna have to do it the other way, like this. Hmm. <laughs> okay, just grab a saucer, a pencil and follow me, okay? <laughs> just draw half circles around the rim of your saucer and we're gonna get that adorable scalloped edge. Just for your information, mine is six inches wide. Next, you're gonna tape the stripes with your masking tape or a painter's tape. I don't know what's the difference. Well, <laughs> this one is for a dollar, okay? <laughs> but it works, I tested. Uh, so you're gonna run the stripes all across your board. And then you're gonna paint every other stripe. I want to keep white and red, so I have to just paint the red stripes. As I'm painting, I realize I'm going to have an even number of stripes, so the first and last is going to be different color. I started with red, white, red, white, red white. It's going to end with white, unfortunately. So when you do it, maybe you can find a smaller plate so you're going to have an odd number of stripes, okay? I think it would look better, but it's okay. Next thing I'm going to do is cut out the scallops and, you know, they're still showing nicely and I'm just using my scissors. 
and I had an extra inch over there on the side that I'm gonna cut off. And once it's nice and dry, I'm removing the tape. And I have to tell you, for this cheap tape, I think I got a pretty nice uh, clean edge, right? <laughs> I'm happy with the result, except, uh, you know, I made some stains here with my fingers, touching things too early. <laughs> so I'm just going to touch it up with some white paint. I'm not going to paint the whole stripes white. That's why I picked the white side, so I don't have to do so much work. <laughs> Next optional step is to use some glitter spray. And you know, I used that on my gingies before and it took them to another level. So I spray paint the awning and look at that. <laughs> Amazing. So I left it out to dry and then I decided to add a twine all around the edges, especially that I have that white stripe at the end. I think uh, the red and white twine will highlight it for me so it will look better. Oh, look at that. My nosy helper has arrived. <laughs> Tweety Bird, say hello, my besties. So what do you think? I think it was worth the extra step. It gives it a nice finish edge and just highlights the whole thing all together. And now I recommend taking a large ruler or a piece of molding like I did and bending over a straight edge because, you know, the scalloped edge has to hang like that. So cute. And then we're going to make another bend at the end on the other side to be able to um, attach that awning to the wall. We're going to bend it underneath like that. What do you think? Is that a cute piece of decor or what? Not just for a hot cocoa station, a lemonade stand, a dessert table for your party. Possibilities are endless. Bad birdie. Bad birdie. Look at these spoiled animals. I don't even know if my decorations will last until Christmas. The, the rate we're going over here. Look at this. What am I supposed to do with this fluffer? Look at that. <laughs> Oh, how sweet. And my husband just brought me some extra fuel, so I'm going to be able to finish this up. <laughs> um, I figure I have to paint the interior of my awning because it will be showing as I hang it. The easiest way, I believe, is to attach the two foam boards to the folded edge over there. Just like so. And it's a little bit wider than the awning, so we're going to cut off the excess at the end. And we're going to use the bamboo skewers to raise up the awning. Create a little bit of a tilt over there. Something like this. We're going to add a lot of hot glue all around the skewer on both ends so it stays in place.
Next, I'm going to use the ornament hanger, like a little piece of wire or a paper clip, whatever you have. You're going to bend a small loop that we're going to use to hang the awning. You're going to pierce a hole in your foam board and thread your little hook through the hole, just like so, and open it on the inside. And you do the same thing on the other side and then thread the wire through both loops, just like so. And wrap around each end. And then we got to put a bandaid on that hook from the inside. A little piece of ribbon with a lot of hot glue. Are you ready to hang this baby? I'm going to use two command hooks. If you can put holes in the wall, of course, use two nails. And moment of truth, let's see. <laughs> Okay, let me straighten up a little bit. And I think it's really cute. What do you think? Do you like this idea? And I was going to hang the sign on the awning, but I think I like it here better. And look what I have here. A wall lantern that I purchased at Walmart last year after Christmas for $10. And here is the code if you want to look it up. I'm so excited because it comes with a flickering flame and I'm gonna squeeze it on the wall over here. Um, it's a little tight, but I still love the mood that it creates. And we're gonna do something about this ugly bow, by the way, stay tuned. <laughs> and my coffee maker and the tea kettle have to stay here. Uh, function is most important, first of all. <laughs> and now let's do something about this whiteboard. How about some Graham crackers? Such a nice inexpensive material, only about 89 cents a box at Walmart. In addition, we're going to use some mints. First, I'm going to outline my cute little sign here and then just start laying down the tiles. <laughs> Please note, I'm using hot glue. If you want to keep your wall edible, then you use icing instead, okay? But my kids know not to eat this. Feel free to add any signs, like this adorable sign I got last year at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to lay my tiles around it. Sometimes you might have to trim a tile. So if you use a chalk marker, it's easy to mark it on a cracker. And then just cut it along with a sharp knife on your cutting board. And ta-da! <laughs> Turn on some Christmas music and have fun with it. Let me tell you, this is some serious tile laying. And when my husband saw me doing all this, he said, now I can help him with the bathroom renovation. <laughs> so it took me three whole boxes to cover the whole wall. And let me tell you, it smells divine. I love it. When you look up here, I have a little bit of space left. Well, my husband said, I need some grout. <laughs> Well, I don't have grout, but I have some yarn. I got this yarn on sale at Walmart for um, $1, believe it or not. The tag says three, but when I took it to the register, it was only a dollar. 
Another option would be to use some cotton. And we're gonna use hot glue and we're gonna add it in that space over there. And then we're gonna also run it all the way around, like a little icing on the cake. I think it's gonna be cute and it's gonna highlight the whole thing for us. And of course, cover all the imperfections, you know? <laughs> I love this look and now I want to add some of the icing around the picture as well. I recently found this adorable gift bag at the Dollar Tree. I especially love the 3D gingerbread houses, so I decided to remove them and add as part of my decor. Aren't they cute? Another option would be to add some uh, gingerbread ornaments there. I also decide to cover up those unsightly skewers. You gotta do both sides and on the inside too. I need some lights under that awning. Uh, so I have this set that I got a while ago at Marshall's on sale. I'm gonna just uh, tie it with some Christmas hooks and attach it with pin needles or pushpins. They just uh, insert very easily into the foam and then you can just uh, use them to hang your lights on. And just hide that battery pack somewhere on the side and then run the lights across. And then there was light. How wonderful. <laughs> we just got, got to cover that wire. <laughs> All right, I think we need a little bit more snow. Let's cover the awning. I'm gonna spray that uh, snow cover with some adhesive and then sprinkle that uh, fox snow. And yes, birds are flying. Mm -hmm. That's what happens up in the sky. <laughs> Do you feel it? Does it start to feel like it's so cold outside and you just want to warm up in the cocoa bowl? <laughs> That's the whole idea. <laughs> Let's continue. Pulse up, yes? We're going to do pull up. <laughs> Thumbs up, please. Uh, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give us a like. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead, hit that red subscribe button. That way you're not gonna miss any of our future videos, okay? All right, let's do something about this bow now. I have some leftover ribbons from my tree uh, and some picks from Walmart, uh, just a dollar a piece, and we're gonna make it fabulous. First, we remove that bow and it's actually not that bad you know it's just different style than what we're going for we're gonna separate it and we're still gonna use the red velvet that's there because that's pretty a plaid i'm sure we could use for something else in the next project so we're gonna save that and you see what they did here uh, these are like bow ties um 12 inches wide so six inch loops so we have two loops on each side we're gonna actually tie it here with the pipe cleaner in the middle and use that as our base. All right, let's take our ribbon now. We're gonna measure 12 inch tail and we're gonna do exact same loop. Let me just double check. Yes, six inches. So we measure 12, fold it in half. That's six inch loop right there. Yeah, that's exactly the same. We're gonna do another one, 12, that's six, pinch it in the middle, 
and I think I'm gonna do just one more. We're gonna do three loops versus four. And make sure all of the loops are the same size and we're gonna cut the tail 12 inches. Now let's attach our bow on top of the red one. We're gonna tie it with that pipe cleaner. And let's insert our loops in between the red ones, just like so. Isn't it prettier already? I think so. But let's add one more layer of ribbon. So we measure 12 inch tail and now the loop we're gonna measure um, 10 inches. 10 inch uh, strip folded in half, that's five inch loop. Another one, 10 inches folded in half, that's five. Pinch in the middle five inches and we're gonna make one more five inches pinch all together in the middle so we now have a bow that's two loops on each side and 12 inch tails we pinch it all together and we're gonna tie it actually we ran out of the pipe cleaner in the previous bow so we're gonna take a new one tie it in the middle fluff it up and attach that on top of our big bow. So just fluff, fluff, fluff. Cut the fishtails and look at that beauty. <laughs> now we're gonna tie that beautiful bow to the lantern and we're gonna add the Christmas pigs on both sides. And we're just gonna head glue them, make sure they stay on. And take a look at this. We didn't spend much, but it's handmade and store-bought just doesn't compare to it. All right, let's further decorate our cocoa bar. I got these cute gingies at a Dollar Tree and I tried to separate them. I thought they were like double-sided, but they're glued in the middle pretty strong. So unfortunately, <laughs> they crumble for me a little bit, but this broken one, I'm gonna use it like it's peeking from behind the house. And before I glue the rest of them, I need to try on how much room it's gonna take my tear tray. I got my tear tray at Marshall's on sale for only $18. If you don't have one, I recommend looking there because you can get a nice, good quality product for so much cheaper than other stores. And I like the function, you know, it's something that can hold up my whole mug collection, not just for decoration. This one is my newest addition. I love the little peppermints and candy canes on it. It's gonna look perfect in the bar. This one I found last year with the matching towel and of course the matching sign that I have in the bar. And here's another adorable towel. I found this one at a Dollar General. I also got some cute little napkins and look at that plate. What a find that was at the Dollar Tree. I also picked up this cute candy shaped tray and some old items that I already have. Use what you have. All right, so I'm gonna place my tray on the side over here. Let's not knock over Alexa because she'll get angry. She's actually singing good Christmas music right now. <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna decorate all around it. Uh, first, let's get rid of that those broken gingies. Like this one has no legs, so he's gonna be sticking out of the chimney. <laughs> I'm spacing is big between the tiles over there, so let me just 
give the guy a couple candy canes. <laughs> and let me tell you a secret. I have a little helper here peeling all the mints behind the scenes. <laughs> and another one behind the camera helping me record under the awning here. So yes, uh, they're working for hot chocolate. That's coming up soon. <laughs> And as you can see, I'm just gluing all the candy now. And we're just gonna glue it all over and gonna have so much fun with it. My table here is mirrored, so look how cool I can see everything there in the reflection. Well, we're gonna cover it up. I have some red placemats, they're old. I'm not sure where they're from, but I'm just gonna put that underneath and hopefully that's gonna tie in with the awning. Let's put everything back and just load up that tray. <laughs> You see, that's that cute set from last year. I haven't seen it this year. How about you? And here, let's just have fun, you know, play around with the placement, see what looks good, what doesn't, and probably gonna switch it up 10 times later on too. <laughs> If you want, you can actually decorate a few items with some baker's twine. I'm just reusing some old jars, so I'm just gonna decorate them a little bit. Add a little peppermint spoon and look how cute. Feel free to add some of those little bottle brush trees or some ornaments, whatever you have on hand. I recently found all these adorable containers. These are from Dollar General for $1 each or these adorable little houses from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna use them here. Of course, I'm not just gonna keep them empty. I'm gonna fill them up. Let me just hang these cute little gloves. I think these are ornaments actually. In one box, I'm gonna add these adorable Christmas marshmallows. Oh, I just found all these adorable little trees. I'm just gonna add them all around. And I found these adorable pompon lights at the Target Dollar Spot. Uh, and I'm just gonna spread them across the table and uh, look how playful they look. I love it. My favorite find this year at the Dollar Tree candy aisle are these chocolate spoons and the melt away Santas. Oh my gosh, these are gonna be such a hit with children this year. Let me just put them away in this box with some extra hot cocoa.
Unfortunately, the spoons are not individually wrapped. So first I put them in this glass jar and then I decided to move them to my little Mrs. Claus container. And then the remaining little candy canes, I put them in, yes, <laughs> the candy cane container. <laughs> And then the whipped cream bottle. I just don't want the bottle on my bar like that. So I wrapped it in a, a paper bag with some twine and I think it looks so cute. Of course, we're gonna store it later on in the fridge, but at least for the time being, it's gonna look cute when we take it out. And of course, no bar would be complete without those little wafers, right? And I think everything will look a little better if I raised it up a little bit. I'm gonna use this, uh, Dollar Tree sign as a little step over here. Of course, we have to add some chocolate dip spoons. Have you seen my video, how I make the Christmas treats? You gotta meet Mrs. Claus if you haven't already. <laughs> Another great find is this candle from the Dollar Tree. Doesn't it remind you of the glass of milk? I think it's the cutest thing ever. I just top it off with a little chocolate spoon and it's perfection. <laughs> And of course, how can I forget a peppermint candy cup? I haven't tested if it holds vodka, but it's a cute addition to your cocoa bar. And of course, get those cute little straws, uh, the peppermint bark, uh, gumballs, candy canes, and whatever other candy that you like and add it all to your bar and create it so cute and special for your family and guests. As many of you know, I am Polish, and my favorite treat at Christmas time is, of course, gingerbread. We call it pierniki. Not many people know that Poles have been making gingerbread since Middle Ages, and Kopernik is one of the oldest gingerbread factories in all of Europe. So this is really good stuff, guys. I just get them at a Polish deli, but I'm sure I can look them up online and uh, provide links for you in my description below if you'd like to try them. They're so good, iced or chocolate covered, just the best thing ever. I cannot imagine uh, holidays without them. <laughs> so pierniki are probably my cherry on the top here today. <laughs> but I have a couple cute other things for you, like the snowflakes. You can add them on top of your awning. They're so cute, uh, realistic looking, I think. You add them throughout here and there. Tweety Bird is helping, of course. And um, I love the look. You can also get some of those other clear plastic snowflakes, add them on top of the snow, and uh, just finishing little touches like that. You know, I love the little details. Also, Dollar Tree sells so many cute window clings. You can use these to decorate your bar as well. 
my table is made out of glass so I just used it all around and I think it's just such a cute little addition. <laughs> And look at Coco, she found a perfect spot, of course. <laughs> Alright my besties, so this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel for more DIYs on a budget. And if you hit the little notification bell, YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video, okay? So stick around. See you next time. Bye bye! Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? So I'm